Friday shave. How are you doing? I hope your week's gone great, guys. I hope you've had some smooth shaves and you've had a, a stress-free week. Not like me. Right, excited about this shave for two reasons. First reason, new soap. It's a shaving station signature sh show, shaking it short carriage from house. Excuse me, signature soap. And it's a collaboration with OSP. And it's spirits. Beautiful label, the stag. Don't know what this guy's doing, waving the stagger thing. But this smells amazing. And the notes in this, and I'll tell you straight away, tobacco leaf, spices, vanilla, caco, caco? I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Spelled C A C A O. Tonka bean, tobacco blossom, and it sits on a base of dried fruits and woody notes. Right up my street. And it's very, it's a mild scent. It's a safe, warm scent. That's the only way I can describe it. I get that it's not in your face. You, I love complex soaps, but when you, you get a soap that you, you get a combination of the scents and you get the individual scents and you can only smell so many, it's, oh, it drives me nuts. I can smell the tobacco, I can smell the sweetness. The vanilla's in the background, even though it's a top note. Woody. Oh, it's beautiful. I love the presentation. Look at the pour, guys. Look at the emboss. OSP. I love that. That's quality. And I've, I've scraped it. I was going to lather out the bowl because it's an oversized bowl. There's plenty of room there to lather in the bowl. <laughs> I want to keep that as long as I can. That's just me. But it's beautiful. Labeling is superb. Uh, there you go. Spirits. Ingredients. If you want to pause that. Is that batch 59? Batch 59. And I can't find a re I, I try not to watch it a review in case it puts different ideas in my head about soap. But I just look for this out of curiosity. I can't find a thing. Same as the blade. Brand new blade. Never heard of. I've never seen it used. And I can't find a thing about this blade on the internet. So if any of you guys know Anything about this blade, a best, please let me know. And this was kindly sent to me by Dave Shepherd. Thanks, Dave. And apparently, he, he, he come about this blade by accident. He bought it by accident. Yeah, that old chestnut. Is that what he tells you, Joy? You all right, Joy? I hope you're okay. God, you fell on your feet there, didn't you, Dave? God, it's gorgeous. Right. Swiss. Swiss steel, as far as I can tell. High platinum. Don't know anything about it. Dura Blade Biz or Business. Swiss quality. Five blades. I'm sorry this goes on a little bit. It's just new products. I, I like to take the time. The razor we're using today is the Tatara Nadochi. Beautiful razor. Nadochi meaning long handle. It's 0. 0, no, it's not. It's 0. 0.90 millimeter gap. And it weighs about 113 grams, I think. I'm not into stats, but just in case you guys haven't got one or you're thinking about what Beautiful piece of engineering. Great craftsmanship. And I'll just show you the base plate. There we go. The emblem. Samurai Warrior and Nadochi. I'm going to load the blade. There's the blade. A best. Never heard of one. Single wrapped. It's got the quality control numbers on the corners and then it is guys a best 
and it says exactly the same thing on the other side along with the blade really neat fit on this absolutely precision engineering and quality control nice long thread make sure it's tight so I don't get any blade chatter there is overhang but not much you can see that guys blade alignment is spot on and the brush I'm going to be using is the Yaki 24mm Everest and it's a lovely handle, lovely resin handle on there and it's synthetic so I'm just going to wet the brush and we'll get straight in and I'll put some in my Captain's Choice Bowl I love my Captain's Choice Bowls ideal for my size of hand right depth for the lather right let's get going and I believe the uh, I've never used an OSP shop shop here we go again never used an OSP shop I've never used one but I believe for thirsty soaps which isn't a problem for me just might make the video a little bit longer I didn't want to lather up pre-shave I wanted to show you guys the process yeah I hope you've been having some great shaves so, how you came about these blades Dave I don't know it's, oh yes I do sorry uh, Kevin Shaves, he put a link into a uh, Vikings hot blade and you went on the link and you clicked the first blade that you've seen send me the link because I can't find any information whatsoever about this blade I googled it, I put it in the search engine nothing beautiful handle on this really comfortable grip and that is just whipping up look at that guys already i'm gonna go with that it's got a slight sheen on it i'm expecting good things off osp because they're known for the cushion they're known for the slickness so wet the mush sorry if it goes on i'm just excited new stuff Drain the old sink. Can't wait to try this blade. Um, Dave says um, they're really sharp, super smooth. So I'm interested. So I need a slightly, slightly aggressive razor, and I've got quite a few days' growth on this. So it'll put it to a good test. Wow! I can't believe I quit that lather up. So I hope you guys are okay, you've had a good week. I know I've already said it, but you know. Just chewing the fat while I'm lathering up. Goes on great, great brush for delivering the lather. Quite a bit of backbone on this for a 24mm Yaki. And I'll put links into everything where I can with what I use a bit neater. tidy myself up a bit like get a bit of heat in this blade a best first use super platinum I need an haircut right here we go First pass with the growth. See how we go.
It's a really comfortable blade feel with this razor. It's a great weight in the hand. You just let the weight, weight of the razor do the job. It's all right, Dave, I'm getting to it. But you're there. <laughs> you're sitting there, you're going, what do you think of the blade? I'll let you know in a minute. Absolutely beautiful razor. It feels in the hand that you've got really good control over the head, if that makes sense. Could be because of the long handle, but I only grip that top. I just use that for balance and guidance. Nice little bit of feedback on it. It's just mowing them now. I can't remember what razor you used these in, Dave. I know you mentioned it, I'm sure you did. Wow. wow. See a bit more on the second pass. Wow, the slickness there, with that bit of water on this soap. And I'm impressed. That's nice. Look at that guy, the peaks on that on the face. The scent strength out the puck, I would say it's about a four. A mile four, not three and a half, but it's like a mile four. I would say now lathered up five. It's really pleasant. It almost smells green. You know what I mean? Earthy. It's beautiful. Really comforting. Yes, I would say it's masculine. With the tobacco scent sniffed in it. It's beautiful. It's like a gentleman's club scent. You know what I mean? Here we go guys, second pass across the grove. I'm really enjoying this. I needed it as well. I left it on purpose because I knew I was getting these blades. I wanted to put them to a real test. And up to now, wow. Did you get the Vikings blades in the end, Dave? Because if you didn't, tell me your address in the emails. I'll send you some. Wow. You can really feel it. That was quite a bit of growth there. It was quite long, a few days. It's just mowed it down. I know it's a combination of the razor as well. I'm, I'm genuinely trying to think what I can compare these blades to.
I'm struggling. I really am struggling what to compare them to. I've got a lot of blades. You wear that overhang. No problem getting up to the nostrils. Still reminds me of a little bit like a PAA um, Astro Planeta, just not quite as earthy, but it's almost there. It's nice. Slipness is excellent. It really is. I know I used too much soap because I've not used it before. That's my excuse. So what's your shaves of the day guys? What's your shaves of the day tomorrow? What's your shaves of the day on Sunday? If I don't see you. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments what you're up to over the weekend. I've got a lot to do. I've got a sort out a chicken coop, repair the roof before we go away to Scotland. Not next week, the week after. And I've caught up with an idea. I haven't forgotten about the competition for the black eye soap, the sterling. I've been struggling to come up with an idea. Now I've got one. So I'll do the I'll let you know what you gotta do to win the soap. It's just a bit of fun. I'll let you know on Tuesday, on the Tuesday shave. Here we go guys. Against the growth. The Tata Mazamoon and the performing excellent blade. Well, what can I say? You were right, Dave. You can really feel it cutting through the hair and it is so smooth. And to me, this is upper end, upper mid aggression, bordering into uh, aggressive. To me, I know everybody's different, but what a beautiful razor and blade combination. I'm glad I used this. Because I om almost used the, uh, the future. I was going to use it on set and six for the first pattern, just purely for the uh, digression to see how the uh, the blade coped with the growth. But this is superb. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the soap and the blade. Thank you so much, Dave. Yeah, thought I had. My fault, I had the wrong angle. Because it's... Um, it's not a standard angle on this on this razor. You've almost got to ride the uh, head plate. Head cap, sorry. Oh, 
Oh wow, you know I struggle on the top lip. That's me overdoing it. Gotta go for the BBS on the top lip, whether it draws claret or not. This is beautiful. So enjoying this. Yeah, so don't forget to watch out for the uh, the Tuesday shave. It's just a bit of fun for the soap for the summer. I'll let you know what you gotta do. And it's not shaving related. It's got you thinking, hasn't it? You probably won't watch now. <laughs> no, bit of fun. Here we go guys, pick up time. Speaking of time, it's getting on. So I do apologise. This is a slightly longer video guys. It's just that with new products, I tend to take my time just a little bit more. I have not tested anything. I never do. Sometimes I will test lather a soap if I'm not so sure about. But with the reputation of the OSP, I need to. Great collaboration. Great scent. Great performance. Blade, razor. Soap and brush. Absolutely outstanding. Little tab there. <coughs> Great shape. Cold water in. Yeah, it's a comforting, warm scent to me. It's not in your face. It's mild. Excuse me, got it in the mouth because I'm waffling. It's, it's a nice scent. It really is a nice scent. Great performance, so. I think OSP have been going on since, uh, I think they were established around about 2015, I think. Well known in uh, the UK. I just don't have any of their soaps. I don't know why. But I do now, and I will be getting the uh, barbershop because I've got this thing about tobacco scents now. And I'm a sucker for barbershop scents. That is a beautiful shave. I want to show you something on this now because we've got the matching splash spirits shaving station. And hang on, let me get the towel. Can you see at the bottom? Can you see that? The way the, the oils are separated. Now apparently the oils that they use in aftershaves make the scent last longer. So give it a shake. See how long it lasts. Got a nice restrictor on it. You feel the oil. Beautiful. Slightly stronger, obviously. 
Yeah, being a splash from the soap. It smells sweeter, slightly sweeter than the soap. Sorry, itchy eye. <laughs> and I'm going to pair that up with. I can never know which way this is now. God, I'm blind as a bat. I'm going with Sterling's on scented because I don't want to ruin the scent of the splash. Peace, guys. Peace, guys, matters. Thanks, John. Wow. What a shave. I was really looking forward to that and it didn't, didn't disappoint. I'm sorry if it's slightly longer, but you can't wash a great shave. And that's the shave, guys. Shaving station. Collaboration with OSP Spirits. Beautiful, beautiful soap. Matching splash. Thank you so much, Dave, for these blades. But please try and get the link or whatever and send me the link. These are a great blade. Smooth, sharp. I, I can't... I really can't compare them to anything, to be honest with you. And I've used that many blades. Beautiful blade. Thank you so much, Dave. And thanks, Joy, for letting him. <laughs> right. Tatara, Mazamuna Dachi, fantastic razor. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you for your new subscribers. Don't forget to leave a comment and give the thumbs up, guys. Um, and that's it. I will see you on Tuesday for the Tuesday Shave. And I'll be letting you know what you've got to do to win the uh, Sterling's Black Eyes. Thanks for joining me again, guys. Stay safe and look after yourselves. Have a great weekend. Bye now.